all back here. Where are we? Sammy, where are we? Where are we? We're about to get to the cabin. Woo! <laughs> Cloud in the winter, he said. Yeah, I doubt it. But it's real nice and sketchy driving up this shit. Oh, yeah. This is all on the side. There's no way. You can get like a nice little ATV and <laughs> come cruising through here and get oh, to your car at the end of the road. Montana. That's true. Or it'll be even worse. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> your glasses. I know you're having a blast. Here we go. There's the cabin. Look at this foliage. It's beautiful and gorgeous. Completely wonderful. Hello! Hello! Oh gosh. Oh, we're here out. Hello! Hello, girly. So basically it's freaking gorgeous here and this is my safe space and this is probably the last time I'm going to be here because Steve is leaving. So yeah, I'm just going to show you some beautiful shots of the cabin and I know I kind of showed you guys last time but this is going to be actually like a much more in-depth situation. So. Abby! <laughs> I feel like Sammy just thrives out here. The river is right down here, and then behind me is the cabin, and there is like a little shack over here. I don't really, I think it's just kind of like a, I don't really actually know. And then there's um, a little fireplace over there, which is really cute, and I have been here like three times and I have never seen that for some reason, which is, I don't know, I guess I haven't explored it enough. <laughs> in the house yet because I'm just so excited to like get some footage before the sun goes down. I mean, not like the sun is gonna go. I mean, it might go down kind of soon. I might at least get a little bit dark soon. I'm like out of breath because I've just been running around. But you know, one just gets so excited and you're just like, oh. So I'm gonna take you guys inside of the cabin so you can see what I'm talking about. This is kind of what our truck bed will look like, <laughs> except there's still a lot of stuff in here. Let me just put Joe's thing there, because I've still seen oh, a few bugs. Oh my god. That's Steve's nice little pile of rocks here. Look at that. It's really beautiful. Sammy, you catapulted yourself off the deck. You are nine years old. Please be careful. Don't go under the deck. Sammy, no. Hey, get out of there. Okay. <laughs> There's a the little outhouse that I was showing you guys before. This is the front door. Oh, damn. It's so clean in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna take my shoes off. We had pizza the other day and I forgot. 
They make your shit red, right? Dude, they make your piss red. I was in the bathroom of the grocery store. Like, oh my god, I need to go to the hospital. That was fun. You ever mistake beets? You should tell them all about it. Bloody piece? What? You should tell them all about it. Oh god. Down to be gone on the road. Or on the road November 1st. Damn. In Montana. We'll maybe visit you in the spring. No, you should come on the trip. On the trip? Oh my god. We yeah. are going on a trip. Yeah, you should come visit me on your trip. Where are you gonna be? Come here. So Montana. This I makes know. it look so much more. Wyoming. <laughs> There's so Have many. you looked at a map of the states yet and been like, where am I going on my trip? Spend a few days in Colorado. <sighs> you have months. You could put a lot of miles on your car. Real fucking quick, bouncing back and forth there. I plan on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the Grand Canyon. I've never seen the Grand Canyon. Uh, I'm all the way up here. So this is the Colorado Rockies. You're far. I go, it's, yeah, it's far, but if you go to Colorado, you go to Utah. I can in a way that you find it interesting. Yellowstone's like an hour from me. I can live right up here. And then right below Yellowstone is Grand Teton National Park. You're at the end where you're talking You think about I know you posted a YouTube video? You're <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? I know that you don't have internet. Do you just don't feel it all? Do you feel it all? Yeah, I don't know. You get the seeds out. It's my sauces. Sauces. Quick to me, sauce. Marinara sauce. We're gonna slice it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, There's mushrooms. There's my mushroom chair. You can get some cool micro shots of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of beautiful. Mu uh, your photo is a macro, right? Or micro? No. What's it? Six ones. No. Oh well, yeah, they have. I yeah, they're part of my line. How did you dress for this yesterday? Like, I'll give it to the Me? Yeah. Here we went to the. Uh, we went to the Renaissance I'm Fair. To use one. What do you I, mean to leave the study? Because he said that you said. I dressed as a time said, traveler. Wow, that's actually good. <laughs> he said that you said that you just noticed that it was just yeah. You told me yesterday. Yeah. It happens quick. Is this and, overnight? Like, if you, yeah, if you like shake a tree, like all the leaves will fall off I the tree. I know, and I'm like, I just want to get like a good shot of. Well, I got the perfect The leaves fucking... falling on me. I got Take the perfect me to spot any for you. beautiful place. I got the perfect spot for you. New buck? New buck? You, you can get different colors too. They have non new buck. Do you want to cut? I don't know. Where are you yeah. Oh, this is really strange having a camera on me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But this you're is the perfect really... subject. You're so outgoing. I'm not that outgoing. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta like get the seeds out of them. Oh, I don't know either. It's gonna be. <laughs> this is a huge one. Let's go with the standard. Is this soap? Yeah, I put soap on that. Yes, <laughs> I've never heard of anyone taking the seeds out. I, I, like some... we used to make. Okay, I was younger, but I'm pretty sure all they used to do was just grind it up. We used to make cans of fucking tomato sauce every year. Like marinara thick. <laughs> yeah, like mason jars full. Of that. So what do you? Well, do we have the whole seeds. process. Yeah, the water in your toe like that. What? <laughs> Because I'm balancing. Because like, your toe pointed. I'm leaning over. <laughs> Point. It's the climber in me. <laughs> it's the ballerina in you. Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> With this music. Look at this tomato. Oh, yeah. I have a little slice of that cherry tomato. Yeah. Anything about pleasant thoughts while eating a home tomato. Hmm. Did you just read that? That's the name. Yeah, check out. Delicious. Are you clumpies? Yeah. What we have to do is boil them for like 15 seconds. Making chicken parm tonight? Yeah. What is the flavor you eat? Like five parm. Is it chicken? Okay. Alright, that works. Um, I love fucking okay, cool. apple. Yeah, I mean, do We're doing the burning and the frying too and shit, or no? Yeah. yeah. Alright. This is gonna be a... This is gonna be the hardest part. We just yeah. gotta do this. It yeah, looks like a lot, but I think it's only gonna make so much sauce. Only so much sauce. Do we squeeze them out now or boil them for 15 seconds? I think we boil them for 15 seconds, toss them in the ice water. You think it's gonna make a difference? I think uh, uh, that's only gonna get the skin off. That's what we're trying to do. And then we can squeeze well, we the tried... juices out. And then cook the sauce. We should have thrown them in and taken the skin off first before cutting them. Maybe you can just peel it off. It's getting that extra moisture out. 
And then we can toss it. Crushed tomatoes them. also just make a pretty good sauce if you just crush them. That's what I did, but then I had the same skin seed to buy. <laughs> Sure. That should be fun. If this is a waste of time, it's a waste of time. We'll just toss it all in anyways and we'll give it a shot. I've been listening to a lot of fucking... You'll, you'll like it. You'll, you'll jive with it. Is yellow one? But if it's 2 o'clock now, we're not going to eat until like what? No, we just get some 4 or 5 hours or somewhere. I don't care, I had a butter roll this morning. Blair, there's some shots you want, it's this right here. <laughs> Juicies? You're going too fast for me. You just keep squeezing. Save a, save a couple with the juices. I think you definitely want a little bit. No, I'm trying to make a thick sauce. I know you're trying to make a thick sauce, but it's going to be really thick. And tomato it's sauce not always... open to a thin sauce. Chef to a chef! No, I hate hearing it squish like you like that. Yeah, Joe, are you, a real... are you a real Italian? <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta do it to the music. Wait, wait! Babushka. Oh. Very upset. Look at you two gorgeous, gorgeous girls. <laughs> no. Hey, hey kid. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Lola's like, I want to say hi to my new friend. Get out of the way. <laughs> Sammy's like, no. <laughs> I watch them play. It's, it's like a dance. <laughs> I know. Gabby's <laughs> just sitting. <laughs> there she goes. So I know. It's an old filler right there. You guys want to check it out? Come on. Let me give you a tour of the felt in the state. <laughs> look at the leaves. Whoa. I forgot to look up what year they stopped using rock foundations, but this is either from like the 50s or as early back as like the 1800s. Yes. The guy Felton that the road is named after actually um, owns Steve's property. Steve's okay. property is where Felton used to live. Felton came here in 1822 with him and his family. To settle these areas, uh, the state land was actually owned by New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And in 1777, they Ooh. ordered a commission of like about 30 people to come together and they parceled off all that land for really cheap. One of those guys was named Foster, who was the first landowner of this property in like the 1770s, 80s. And they sold it off to Felton in the 1820s. Most likely Felton was a sheep farmer up here with one more uh, homesteader up there, one more farmer. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, and so uh, it was owned by the Felons from 1820 to 1930s. Like, it's a long time. Yeah, until finally the name died off with the, the daughter. So there was no sons. So this is where they kept the beets? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it could have been the place down by Steve's was the actual property. But obviously someone lived here. And then if we hike way back, like about half a mile, um, you can see where the original homestead farmstead was with the orchard. We ate an apple off the orchard tree that was planted by them in like 150 years old, 200 years old. I felt like he was with us. When 200 I year old apple? Yeah. You basically are a part of him now. I know, that's what I'm Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Ba -na 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 -na. Come! Okay. Time in the middle of the night, I came across a cross made out of sticks. I don't like, know how you hike alone at night. I'd be so scared. It's like a, you know, you gotta keep yourself cool. It's the same thing as anything else. I don't know. What is this cover? Bro, you don't even know. <laughs> Looks like a secret hideaway. Here he comes. Look how beautiful. So, we're on a little walkie walk. And everything is so beautiful here. And the trees are creaking and it sounds exactly like a very old door opening. 
And this is why people believe that magic is in the woods. Isn't that right? Correct. Isn't that right? Correct. Correct. We're literally paparazzi. Yeah, I know. Papa, paparazzi. Oh, didn't you used to fence? You used to fence, didn't you? Yeah, you remember that? I forgot. Have you saw he go off trail? I was like, I'm coming. <laughs> there she goes. Much. So out of breath. It's the double pants. It is the double pants. It's the double pants. Oh, wow. The leaves are literally just like. Wow.